Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Emma, me, and today we're going to be talking about Clydesdales. Before we get into this video, make sure to like and subscribe. But the first thing about Clydesdales is Clydesdales, they're always different. There isn't one Clydesdale that's the exact same as the other. As you can see, this one's a girl born on April 8th, 2023. It's energetic, 17 speed, 36 puffs, 40 strength, 5 jumping, so it doesn't enjoy jumping at all. And it's had 10 meals. We have 42 love. 42 care for it, 57 love. It doesn't have a favorite food yet, and I've made three faults out of this one. It has 55% of a unique breeding horse, which is okay. This one is a dapple gray, Clydesdale. There's a, I have to wait, three hours and 30 minutes to be able to breed this Clydesdale. Next is going to be a baby Clydesdale because baby Clydesdales and grown Clydesdales are usually very, very different. So this is my baby Clydesdale. I haven't named it yet. Comment down below what I should name this one. It's 49 growth, six love, 47% on creating a rare breeding horse. It's a black leopard. It's a girl. It's easy going. It was born on April 19th, 2023. Its speed is mystery. All of this stuff is mystery because it's still baby and you cannot ride a baby horse because it is very bad while they're growing. Next, we have a horse that's just like completely different to the others. So this one is a dapple gray palmont, palmato. It's energetic, it's a girl. It was born on April 8th, 2023. It has 12 hoof pushing, 11 speed, 28 strength, 27 jumping speed, 13 meals, 49, 49, like care for it. It has 27 love, 85% on a rare breeding horse. It doesn't have a favorite food yet. I guess this one just loves all foods. I've made three folds out of it. I can breed it in 42 minutes. Uh, now I'm going to be showing you a good place to catch Clydesdales. This is where I always find Clydesdales. It's easier for me. Um, it's the Volcano Island. If you cannot get up to the Volcano Island, it's also easy to find them on the desert, but the desert is not as common as the volcano, so let me get Dottie out. Um, so I'm going to be just going around the volcano and seeing what we can find and hopefully we can find a Clydesdale. It's not very easy to find Clydesdales. They're amazing for breeding faults. Um, and the thing about Volcano Islands is definitely that um, there are Clydesdales, but another thing is, I know this video is on Clydesdales, but I get very distracted with these shiny things. Um, these shiny things are like crystals that you can make saddles for your Clydesdales and saddle pads and all of that. Not just Clydesdales, all horses in general, but I think that it looks best on Clydesdales because usually Clydesdales are quite plain, so it's good with the pop of colour. Um, especially because usually since they're so big, it's hard to find one that fits them. A good size is definitely the reading saddle. It's really good for them. It looks amazing, especially in rainbow. If you can't get up to this island, then try the desert island or the forest, but they're much more uncommon. Here, we have an Andalusian going to catch it because they're also not easy to find, but Clydesdales are much harder to find. 
Um, Clydesdales are like usually really chunky. I've never seen one that's skinnier, but a Clydesdale pattern is really good for breeding because the Clydesdales have always a unique pattern that isn't able to be found on ev any other breed of horse. They usually have little dots all over their backs, which is really cute because it's not easy to find them. A commoner Clydesdale is a, I don't think I have it, I think I sold it. It's a brown Clydesdale with um, a kind of ginger mane. It's a bit more common, but that one really looks good with the um, Prime Mist um, Crystal Saddle because since it's so bright, it brings out some color in the horse. Not that the horse doesn't have color, it's just the horse is quite plain, that one. Some of the horses um, aren't that easier to find with the Clydesdale breed. The Clydesdale breed is usually not that easy to find. One, because usually no one catches Apollosa, and after you catch a lot of Apollosa, that's when they usually spawn, because the Apollosa, no one just catches them because they're not good. Um, but they are quite pretty and good for breeding. But other than that, it's just, the Clydesdales are really, really rare to find because they're just, since they're so big, if you're in a public server, it's really hard to find them because everyone's just there crowding around all the islands so they can just easily get it. Um, so before I continue with this video, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is about Forge.